What's going on guys, it's Anurag here and if you're a person like me who likes changing keyboards on your Android device, you're watching the right video. So if you guys like the video, you know what to do, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and with that being said, let's get started. So guys, the first keyboard application on our list is none other than my personal favorite Flesky keyboard. Now Flesky is a very very decent keyboard which has very decent spacing between the alphabets and you won't have any problem typing anything with this keyboard. Now here's the best part that Flesky provides that dope color scheme options. Now you can select with a ton of color schemes that you like and not only that you can make a color scheme of your own which is pretty sick. It also provides some textures that you can add to the background of your keyboard to make it look awesome. Swiping to the right you have various extensions that you can get for the keyboard like quick swipes, many other emojis and other cool stuff. Now, one more swipe to the right leads to the size of the keyboard that you can adjust according to the size of your hands. Now it is pretty decent keyboard, do check it out, link will be in the description below. Here's the next keyboard. Now this keyboard adapts to the color of the application that you are using right now and it changes the color of the keyboard according to the application. Isn't that cool? This is the one and only Chroma keyboard. And the main reason I like this keyboard is because of the capabilities to change color according to the application. Now digging inside the application, it does not have much customization options like Flesky did and there are some small features which are free as well as paid. So there are in-app purchases inside of this application. But it's a pretty neat application, do check it out, links will be down in the description. Now the last keyboard application is the Gboard from Google which most of us usually do use. Now Gboard has also many of the other customization options like a theme engine for its keyboard itself. So you can select from various color combinations or not only that you can set the background as a custom image that you can select from your gallery. So, so Gboard is my second favorite keyboard application that I prefer and if you want to use it you can download it from the links in the description below. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys like the video you know what to do, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow me on social medias like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, links will be down in the description. With that being said, it's amazing Anurag here and I am signing out. Peace.